Hey guys, Corey and WF here, don't you know? And today we're doing a 1v1 against the one and only White Mamba, and we're currently uh, in his stream, and uh, he's talking all types of stuff like we all know what would happen if we 1v1. And uh, not gonna lie, he may have won the last 10 games we've played, but uh, this can be different this time. It's gonna be different. So, if you are new to the channel, you are in fact most welcome. Please consider liking and you already know, subscribing. I do have a goal of eh, three likes in this video. Just one new subscriber. That could be you watching right now. So, we're going our druid, our druid sub, Spike Factory. Uh, Spike Factory is just phenomenal. So, many of you that watch my channel know I'm typically a Professor Evil channel. I do Battles 1 tutorials and things of that nature, but I have been getting back into Battles 2. And uh, for the first seven seasons, we were T100, and then I just stopped playing. So, I just got back into it last season towards the end. Uh, and now, this season, we're going to try to get back to Hall of Masters. So, we're trying to get back into it on Rust. And uh, a lot of you that watched my channel at that time know I typically go Druid, Sub, and Ice. Uh, big fan of that combination. But recently, what I've found is that Spike Factory is considerably cheaper for DDT defenses. So, typically, what we see happen is... DDTs, and I have to get an Icicle Impale, which used to be like 30,000, and I think it's like 33 or 36,000, something ridiculous right now. So, and whereas a Spike Factory, all you need is a Spike Storm, which is considerably less, and it can stop multiple DDTs. All right, let's get this back on first. We want to leak under 70, between 60 and 70, which, oh, little, little extra leaks, but that's okay. As long as we have more than one life, we're doing okay here. So, White Mamba loves to main his Dartling. So, I imagine we'll see some Dartling Elk Ninja, which is a super OP strat. Uh, I would argue that Alchemist may be one of the best towers this season. Let me know in the chat right now. What do you think is the best tower for this season? I'm thinking it's Alchemist. Um, and I've never used Alchemist in a competitive game that I'm aware of. I just don't do it. Um, I believe, you know, and call me crazy, I believe Spike Factory is the best tower. Um, I absolutely do. I don't think it really matters too much here. Uh, you know, as far as like, you know, meta has been for the longest time. And hear me out here. Hear me out. It's been the wizard and tack and farm with Jericho and that's because you're able to get that money greed and rush early right well spike factory severely underrated in the sense of I can get spike balls and it absolutely defends all Moab class right you send me uh, a Moab or even a fortified Moab or ceramics and it absolutely shreds um, so it's great for that middle game defense um, it does fall a little bit off in late game, but typically you don't see late game anymore since the update. So I think we're going to go ahead and balloon boost this. Let's go ahead and balloon boost that, send more yellows. Okay. Oh, he might go down here. Oh, he gets a third dartling. Okay. Good defense. Good defense. Our eco's looking good. Probably want to get to at least 750 eco. Um, looking really good there. Can't really prevent the money steal. Let's get our sub here. So yeah, Spike Factory is phenomenal for that middle game. And Druid is super OP early game. Uh, with Oban, you got that totem there to slow everything down. Look how my Druid is just single-handedly like taking care of everything. And the sub there, Decamos and I can get up the reactor, you know, the 420, and it'll absolutely shred. Uh, no issues there whatsoever. Okay, so we're going to get this, get the 420. Looking good, and I'm going to be safe here. 
So I get the lightning and I would like to get another druid started and I want to get to about a thousand eco. I'm going to play low eco and I want to get a one, two on strong, which will help with any region. Um, really important there. We're sending these space rainbows for extra eco. But yeah, we just want to get to a thousand eco. And I may send, yeah, let's just send those balloons because I don't want the money steal. And that's eco. Very nice. And uh, get to a thousand. So then, um, this is kind of the strat I've been using recently. And I've been doing fairly well for being in BFB Coliseum and my other account in ZOMG. Um, kind of what we're doing there. So uh, if we can't beat them with an early rush, I really look for opportunities round 22 to round 25. Those are the rounds I like to take advantage of, especially if they rush me and I'm able to defend. They have depleted their funds trying to rush me and, you know, I'm sitting pretty here. So we get a 202 on close. And we will get this to 302, and we want that before round 17. So I'll typically get this round 16, because then we'll get a bunch of spike balls in the back. And uh, acquired, there we go. Now we can upgrade this middle path, and we'll get up uh, Jungle's Bounty here eventually. So if you were to send me anything, he could probably send me two or three. I'm going to send... Those ceramics there because I don't want them to money steal. It's not really rushing. I'm just sending it. Which in retrospect probably wasn't a good send. But oh well. I digress. So we're going to get up the jungle's bounty. Emote on him a little bit. Emoting's always good. And uh, yeah. We'll probably have enough time to get up another one. I'd like to get up whatever I can by round 18. And after round 18, we're just going to save money. We're just going to save money here. I like to get uh, the 140 just so it's able to hit leads and gives it a little extra strength. There we go. So now we're done. We're done ecoing. We're done getting jungles bounties. Now we're just going to collect the money. And typically we'll get our trees. I'm going to get up a sub here just in case. If he starts rushing i can upgrade this as well but i'm going to be able to place my trees in the ai path and collect even more money when that breaks down and uh we're looking good and we'll be able to send him a significant rush round 22. uh we'll see how he does how he's able to defend so Okay, yep, let's get the 032, get the ballistic there. We'll just keep it on first. I don't know if it was super needed, but definitely, you know, doesn't hurt. So let's get him positioned up here so we can set the trees down as soon as we get that ability, which I think will come round 21. Yep, there we go. Keep collecting jungle's bounty and set down our trees. And we are absolutely going to have enough money to send him a fortified ZOMG. And look at all that money we got. That adjustment helped us out significantly. All right, so now it is crunch time. Let's cue the music. <laughs> <laughs> 